Assuming as an equation H A plus H two O, that give you H two O plus and A minus. Based on the broad lorry theory, you should be able to actually define what is acid, what is base. H A is actually just a common you know, form that we use to represent the acid. After the reactions, you go from H A to A minus, right? So you lost proton. Therefore, we know this one is actually acid based on the theory. And then for your H2O, when you go from here to here, you know you receive the proton. Therefore, this is actually the base. The interesting is actually once you write these things down and then once you put on this equilibrium sign, all the things we described was based on the reactant side, right? If you go from reactant to the product, then you can define your S in base. But if we actually now look at from the product side, a similar thing is actually going from your right to the left. This guy, when you're going back to here, he actually lost a proton. Based on definition, this will be actually a proton donor. Therefore, this one is actually acid. For this guy, Go back to here. You actually receive proton, right? You go from A minus to HA. Therefore, we know this one is actually a base. So in other words, we create another terminology. Call this guy as a conjugate acid and this guy as conjugate base. So for all the acid base equilibrium equations, we can always find the acid and the conjugate base pairs. In this specific reactions, you have actually two conjugate acid base pair. Okay, the first one is actually HA over A minus. The other one is actually H2O and then H3O plus. So these are the two conjugate acid base pair. So it's very important that you can actually recognize the two acid base conjugate ba pairs. In this case, we will, we will say the HA is the acid, the A minus is its conjugate base. And here we will say the H2O is the base, and the H3O plus is the conjugate acid. So the way you find out your acid and the conjugate base, they always, always follow this relationship. Your acid is going to equal to your conjugate base plus the H plus. So let's give you one example. If this actual equation you see, can you actually define the two acid base pair? From here we know this and this apparently is actually a pair. This and that is another pair. So if you go from here to here, we know it actually lost the proton. So we know this is actually defined as acid and this one will be the conjugated base. If you go from here to here, we know this is actually obtain a proton. Therefore, this is actually a base, and this will be the conjugate acid. Another very important concept you should learn from this equation is that this is actually not an equilibrium equation. This single arrow means actually the reaction is going to move toward the product side. The question you're going to encounter based on this will be, you have two acids actually inside your system. One is this guy, one is that guy. So the question will be, which one is actually a stronger acid? This one should be actually the stronger acid, right? Because the reaction, because it's stronger, that means actually the reaction is going to occur to the product side. So this one will be the stronger acid. The very important implication from this example is that the H3O4 is actually a stronger acid than your H3SO4+. 
So you can compare both as they want to release the proton. Whoever is stronger will win the battle. OK, so if you win the battle, it means actually it's going to move from the current position to the product side. Right? If this is stronger, then we know the reaction will move to the right hand side. If this one is stronger, it should move to this side, right? But the fact that inside your chemical equations it indicates the reaction is actually move toward the product side. Therefore, we know this guy should be the winner. So HCO4 will be the stronger acid. OK, so another example is this. OK, HNO3 plus F minus, that give you NO3 minus plus HF. OK, again, you see these things actually says the reaction is moving toward the product side, right? By now, you should be able to, def to see this. This is actually acid. This is conjugate base. That is base. That is the conjugate acid. Therefore, two acids actually appearing inside your solution. Which one is actually a stronger acid? Yes, HNO3, right? Because the reaction is actually moving toward the product side. Therefore, that's actually a stronger acid. Let's summarize these things. Okay, we know the acid base pair is HNO3. Conjugate base is NO3 minus. And then base is is F minus, conjugate acid is HF. So these are the two pairs. These are the acids inside your solution. These are the base inside your solution. Another important concept for this part is actually if you have a stronger acid, its conjugate base will be weaker. So this is actually a very important concept because you know this is actually a stronger acid okay, than this, right? So its conjugate base will be actually a weaker base. Okay, therefore, if you just consider the basicity, the F minus will be stronger than your NO3 minus. So these are the two rules you should always, always memorize. OK, because those are the rules you're going to apply. To all your homework questions, OK, so let me emphasize again, OK. If you see a chemical equation with single error. Then you should be able to predict. Which acid is a stronger acid. But if today you have a stronger acid its conjugated base will be a weaker base. Okay, so those are two things that you need to memorize now.